Hello friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel Francisco Pedraza Security and Business. I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel as I will, I will be uploading uh, valuable information, and, uh, highly applicable and useful information for improvement of uh, loss prevention, basically that's security, and profit um, developing, which is business basically. So here today, I want to show you this uh, this model that was created by my father, which is the strategic security cycle, or the strategic security process. It was a process, but I consider it a cycle as it needs to repeat over time, I mean frequently. Okay, so first you need to identify risks, know what risks are you threatened by in your operating areas and your routes of uh, transport and stuff. You need to identify your risks. There are uh, speculative risks and there are pure risks, which are the ones that are um, concerned about the, by the security theories, right? After you identify those risks, you need to make an analysis, analyze the risk. Is it probable for it to happen to me? Is it critical? Am I harmed by that event if it comes to place? That's, uh, those two indicators tell me if I am uh, a possible, a probable victim of a specific risk or a crime. And also, what's the criticality? What's the cost of the incident if it comes to place in my case? All right? After you know your environment and your operating locations and areas, you make a security survey. You make a, a self-analysis. How am I prepared to develop and function in that uh, area with those identified risks? and analyzed properly. After I make a, 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 a self-analysis, I come to construct and build security programs to protect specific values and assets of, the, of a corporation. This is a theory basically um, focused on corporation operations, but a family is an organization, a person is an organization, that works, that consumes and produces results. So we can make this scalable to any size, all right? These are theories you can find in www.asisonline.org. This is the, the, the website where you can find all the, the bibliography and all the theories that are here exposed in my channel. I am a certified CPP. Uh, uh, certified Protection Professional by ASIS International, which is uh, um, an organization of professionals around the world, which are, we are committed, I am an active member, and uh, we are committed of developing and investigating all these subjects to make, uh, to reduce loss within companies, operations, and functioning, right? Well, security programs in a company to, an, to make an overview of all risks and prevent all possible losses, you need to make a physical security program, which is installation, facilities, um, any program, any process that is installed, in certain areas, they need to be secured, depending on what the risk is for every process and materials and, and anything. Information security, you can see here in the middle of the whole cycle, you can see information management, because information management is basically the base of everything. If someone knows your security information, that makes you vulnerable to them because they will know all your your vulnerabilities and they will make an attack 
where you cannot be defended or you cannot protect yourself. So you can make an information management process, how you get your information, where, where your information sources, and how you keep that information, how you classify the information that you keep. There is critical information, there is just public information that needs to be shared with the public. So we need to manage properly all the information. As a tip, all security information is uh, sensitive. You do not share any security information with strangers, all right? Then personal security, that's another program that a company is responsible for. A company is responsible for its employees that makes it function and produce the benefits that it offers to the community. So personal security, that is a, a classifying personal people that actually need to be functioning in a factory. They need to be safety protected. They, they need to have some protection devices like uh, helmets and gl uh, glasses, gloves, and all that kind of uh, useful tools to prevent the personal to be damaged or harmed in any way. Crisis management, that's also a process that needs to be managed and planned and prepared because we never know when the information and the disaster is gonna come. It might come tomorrow, it might come today. So I need to be prepared for any possible and probable risks that actually threaten me in my operations. Within that crisis management, it is priority to prepare for uh, fires. Because fire is a, a threat that is present in every place, in every facility that has electricity, has the threat of a fire. Then you need to be prepared for a fire and primarily, you need to have an evacuation plan so you can keep your people safe, primarily. And then you also need an investigations program. How do you gather information? The information you get, it needs to be legally acquired. You cannot just spy someone and get information from him. That's not legal. You might actually be in trouble with legal procedures because of uh, spying and recording people just because. So you need to have a investigations program where you have processes to gather information from your clients, from your competitors, from the authorities. You need to be informed every way because you, you don't need to be surprised with taxes or some regulations that you will, you did not get the information prop, uh, I mean yeah timely properly I mean the, uh, you need the, to get the information at time and you need to get the, the proper information so that's why the investigation programs is very important. And when, it, when an event, when a crisis event or a, an incident actually comes to place, the investigations program is designed to gather all the evidence and every uh, piece of material that can actually show what really happened and if there is a responsible or if there is a, a gap in all our security process to be filled and strengthened to prevent losses every way. After you have your programs from here, you come to your, develop your checklists. You need to list what are the sensitive and the primary activities that need to be realized and developed so you don't forget anything on the process. You need to actually have the checklist to be uh, physically 
secure and confident that you realized that activity. The checklists are useful when there is a team of people, when there are a number of individuals uh, responsible for the processes. They need to work as a team. So the checklists actually uh, de delegate the, the tasks and activities to need, that needs to develop every person. After you have your checklists and all the tasks that need to be developed, then you can go to your organization activities where you need to delegate responsibilities. I mean, from those checklists, you have the activities and then here you organize your, you delegate and, and you uh, place a, 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 a hierarchy that can actually function and develop all these activities properly and cleanly that can be producing good results and benefits for the company and the organization that is applying this system. After you have your organization, your budget, all the responsibles for the activities that need to be developed for all these programs, then you need to develop the human talent, how you get your commitment from the, the employers, the employees that are uh, responsible for everything, they don't only need to know how to do things right, they need to want to do things better. That's uh, some commitment that you get uh, to develop the talents of people when you motivate them properly and you have the, the rewards that satisfy them and make them develop as people and as person and, as a, and, and in their pro professional careers. Then uh, after you have all this system functioning, then you are aware of what are, what are the risks, how are you prepared for them, you have some documents, everything here needs to be documented because if you don't write things, you just forget about them. So you need to document and make folders and stuff to organize all the process. Now here I have this small box that says security awareness because that is the base for all this. Every individual that is uh, working here in any way needs to be aware of the security, needs to be aware of where the keys are put, where the wallet, where the money is, it needs to be aware of security because the threats are always active, are always looking what the, the opportunities are to get some benefit from you. So this is uh, the strategic security process that I wanted to share. I am going to make videos for all those subjects. As you can see on all my, on, on other videos of my channel, my primarily uh, market is in Spanish. I do work in a security academy here in Colombia. I have uh, 20 years making this information uh, useful for bodyguards, for watchmen, for uh, operations, directors and managers that can use this to improve their team's performance and reduce the losses that can be That can, come, that can come to place during the process. This, can, this analysis and these activities to organize and manage security give you the tools to be prepared and reliable, rely on your own security, on your own awareness. You know what you need to be aware of if you make all this process. So yes, I, I want to uh, invite you to subscribe to my channel. I will be making um, videos on all these security subjects. We do have a, a gun shooting uh, range, 
So I will be making videos on managing and using guns and how to make a, a gun a tool besides, uh, I mean, instead of a, a threat. A, a gun, when I know how it works and I know and I've used it, then I can be aware and not frightened or afraid of the gun, right? So yes, I, I want to invite you to, to subscribe so I can make this channel more um, public and commonly. I, I would like all people to know this subjects that make them make the performances more efficient and with less loss and we can actually be better people people with better security systems and knowing all this stuff will make you a better people professionally and personally so please subscribe to my channel thank you